Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of our rant series. Today, another one that you guys have asked for and asked for and asked for, and I've kind of held off doing because I don't, you know, I don't normally like to really trash bands or stuff that I don't like. You know, if I don't, if I don't like something, I got my reasons. I, you know, I tend to not really want to talk about that much. I'm, I'm more of a positive guy, right? I like to talk about stuff that's good, stuff that I like in hopes that other people will, you know, go and investigate and like, right? But I get a lot of people, you know, every now and then I drop hints at certain bands that I don't like. Most people know, you, but, but Pete, you never talk about these bands. Is it possible you don't like them? It's like, yeah. In most cases, I don't talk about the stuff I don't really like because you know what? I'm not really a negative guy, but I've been asked so many times, Pete, can you just one of these days Please do a fun rant on the bands you don't like. So this is going to be the bands that Pete, the popular bands that Pete loves to hate. That's what we're going to call this rant: the popular bands that Pete loves to hate. With a cop, well, all right. So let's get the let's set it all straight here. All right, because I know I'm sure to annoy some people who like some of these artists and bands. Hey, we're all entitled to our opinions, right? If you love any of these bands, that's great. More power to you, all right? I'm not telling anybody they should or shouldn't listen to any of these bands. These are just bands and artists that I personally do not like, never need to hear another second of their music. They just do nothing for me, all right? I have my reasons. I'm going to give you some of the reasons, but you know, this is not trying to knock what they do, all right? These are just I don't the reason these are just bands that I don't like and the reasons why I don't like them. If you love them, great, okay? I got no issue with that. I have no issue with anybody loving and buying their music, going to see them, like, whatever. I just don't. I have no need to, and I don't, and I don't listen to them, all right? So here we go. Some of these, probably most of these, will not be a surprise to many of you. Um, but anyway, the top of my list. In fact, one of our readers, the other when I did the Motley Crue uh, rant about the tour yesterday, said that, Pete, if you do a show like what I'm doing now, I bet your Motley Crue is in your top three. Well, you know what? They're my number one. <laughs> so Motley Crue, if, if you haven't listened to my rant about the Motley Crue reunion tour next year with Poison and Def Leppard, go watch it. All right. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> I enjoyed Motley Crue for the first two albums, and then I got off that Motley Crue train pretty quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, Theater of Pain, Dr. Feelgood, Girls, 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 all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's, ugh, lost interest quickly. And quite frankly, they're, to me, they're just, at least nowadays, or the last 20 years, sloppy band with a singer who's a slob, who can't sing, who can't stay out of his own way. Um, you know, obviously, other than when they're together, they're all a mess on their own. All right. Of course, always get phone calls when I'm doing these videos, right? At least I put the phone out, right? Um, and quite frankly, you know, have they really been relevant at all since like the mid 80s? You know, they're basically just go out there and they play like a greatest hit set. And I know a lot of longtime bands do that, but it's just they haven't even made any remotely good new music in eons, right? Uh, I just, I don't see the appeal to them anymore. I know they're, they're all of a sudden red hot again because of the freaking biography film, all right? Which I haven't seen. I have no interest in seeing. But Motley Crue to me, I just don't understand the pop. Go away. God, spam. You guys get spam calls all day long? I get spam calls all day long. It just never fucking ends. Ugh, it's so annoying. It's like you don't even want to answer the phone anymore. But I digress. Uh, so, yeah, I just don't see the appeal of Motley Crue. I don't. They just don't see it. All right? So that number one on my list. Number two, poison. Hair metal. I hate that term, but if you're going to call it hair metal, that they're the worst. All right? And for fuck, they're not even metal. Poison is not metal. All right? It's like pop, glam rock, whatever you want to call it. Poison's not metal. All right? I remember back in the day, I used to think, God, some of the guys in this band look better than some of the chicks I see around concerts and stuff like that. I mean, I hear any of their hit songs, it just makes me cringe. All right? And Brett Michaels is a definitive, the definition of a poser. All right. Just, ugh, just, I just don't see. I know. Oh, but there's so much fun. Yeah, fun if you like slitting your wrist, I guess. Right? I don't know. I just don't find them fun. I don't find them appealing. I never liked them. I saw them live in concert. They were one of the worst bands I've ever seen live. Sloppy, just, ugh, just, ugh, silly band, silly band. All right, this one's gonna piss off a lot of people, but it is what it is. Guns and Roses. I am not. 
going to deny the impact of their debut album. One of the most important debuts ever, a huge album. When it first, I was into it, big time, all right? Unfortunately for me, Guns N' Roses has been riding the coattails of that album for in its 30 years, all right? They put out Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. That should have been a single album. Way, tons of filler on both those albums. Should have been a single album. It's an okay single album again. I never need to hear any songs from it again. Anything else? What else have they done after that? A couple cover tunes, soundtrack song here or there, or whatever it is. Uh, you know. And then you know, they're, all, they're all a mess. They all hate each other. Don Drug, strung out, breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, right? Axel tries to keep Guns N' Roses going on for decades with none of the original guys, right? Nobody gives a shit. Uh, Slash trying to do his own thing. I actually respect Slash quite a bit as a musician. Good guitar player. Not one of my favorites, but a good guitar player. I think out of all the Guns N' Roses guys, I always kind of honed in on him because a tasty player, right? Um, but again, you know, they're all, for the most part, floundering without each other. They get back together, oh, all sorts of big business, whatever. Still haven't seen any new music from it, right? But they can go out and tour and make a shitload. Uh, but I never need to hear any of those songs from Appetite or, or Use Your Illusion 1 or 2 or, you know, the EP or whatever. I don't need to hear any of that stuff again. Played to death. I had an ex-girlfriend years ago, back in the early 90s, who worshipped the ground that these guys walked on and played them constantly. If I wasn't tired of Guns N' Roses before I started dating her, I was absolutely sick to death of them. Oh, Axel. Oh, Slash. Oh, Guns N' Roses. Oh, it's nonstop. Nonstop. And what made matters worse is I went to go see him live. That big stadium tour they did with Metallica and Faith No More. God, they went on like an hour and a half late. They were, you could tell they were all loaded when they went on stage. Axel was a complete asshole, not only to the fans, but to the road crew. Just berating everybody. You know, people were there. At the, it was a stadium show. People were there all day waiting for these guys to come on. They came on late. People were getting surly. And Axel was just being a total asshole. So I just, you know, again, I'm not denying the impact. I just don't like them. I never need to hear them again. So for me, Guns N' Roses, not even on my radar. All right, what else? Nirvana. <sighs> Where to begin? Yeah, I bought Nevermind when it first came out. Listened to it a lot the first like six months or so I had it. Then started to realize, you know what, this really isn't that good. A couple catchy tunes, it's kind of punky, it's kind of, you know, whatever they call it, grunge, whatever. Some like, some, you know, metal moments here and there, but mostly it's just kind of like a modern punk album with some kind of grungy guitar, you know, fuzz laden guitar riffs. Yeah, and you got Kurt Cobain, just, you know, oh, I take heroin, uh, oh, I hate being a rock star, I don't like being in the spotlight, oh, 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 you know, whatever, the world sucks, I'm so alone, uh, you know, all this, oh, blah, 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 whiny, whiny, whiny. You know, other than a couple tunes, man, just boring, boring stuff to me. I don't get it. Legendary status, right? You know, it's like, and then before you know it, he's gone, they're gone, Done. All right. Again, not denying their impact. They helped start a whole movement. I get it, but that movement was fleeting. People seem to think they're like the second coming of the, you know, the Rolling Stones or whatever. It's like just they're fucking Nirvana, man. I don't know. Pearl Jam, another one. I love that first album when it came out. You know, I can still listen to Even Flow and Jeremy today. Good songs, right? They had some balls back then. Eddie Vedder, just a cool front man. But man, all of a sudden, Eddie Vedder became another whiner, man. It's like they, they, the, the band has lost... All, I mean, what happened to the guitar riffs and all the interesting stuff in their tunes, right? They wanted to be like, you know, oh, we want, we want to be Americana now. We want to be Americana rock and roll, right? It's anti-establishment, all that kind of stuff. We, we're, we're the cool guys. We're, we're against all the establishment. But you know what? Your music isn't cool anymore. After those first two albums, boring, boring. People still worship the ground they walk on. When was the last time Pearl Jam released anything of note that anybody knows, all right, or that wants to listen to? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. R.E.M. Everybody hurts. My ears hurt hearing that song. All right? Whiny. Again, can you tell? I really don't like whiny vocals. All right? A lot of bands on my list are just this whiny, just oh, whiny, bland pop music. I just never saw the appeal of R.E.M. Never. Never. I think about all their, got all those hit songs, and it's like just like, oh, one after another. Come on the radio. Off. Off. Oasis. 
more whiny pop music. Okay, Britpop, whatever. Blech. If I ever hear Wonderwall again, God, I don't know what I'm going to do. Jesus, boring ass shit. I'll be a happy man if I never hear another Oasis song again. The fact that they compare themselves to the Beatles once? Yeah, right. (laughs) Keep dreaming, buddies. Uh, Bob Dylan. He could be the greatest songwriter of all time. I never, ever, ever could stand that voice. Ever. I don't care how great his lyrics are, man. I hear him sing and I'm just like, ugh. It's like nails on a chalkboard. How about, how about Bob, you know, I, I would have loved it more if he just was a songwriter. You know what, I'll just, I'll just write songs for everybody else. You can sing them, all right? Because, oof, maybe I'm going to hurt somebody. Oof, God. Yeah, cool lyrics? Yes. Can he sing? No. Uh, all right, I'm going to dip into a little bit of real modern stuff here. A guy who so many people cite as a genius... Eminem. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Man, that phone is just ringing off the hooks. And it's all it's all scam spam calls. Unavailable. It says spam. It's just all these recordings. It's just it's just it's all day long, guys. It's all day long. It's amazing. Uh, back to Eminem. Yeah, you know, just again, a genius, white boy, trying to be a black guy, singing rap. He sings in that same kind of monotone voice all the time every song he sings sounds exactly the same same voice all right just as soon as i hear him i only need to hear like two seconds of him and i instantly I'm like oh it's eminem turn it off sometimes they try and disguise him in some of these like pop and hip-hop hop songs by like female singers and he comes in and he sings like the chorus whatever and i'm like oh that's not a bad song oh there's eminem fuck turn it off all right i don't get it again people think oh my god but his lyrics are so deep yeah, deep and wild round about what? Jesus. Pitbull. Stupid fucking songs. Funny looking ball guy who can't decide if he wants to be a rapper or a Latino pop star or rigatone star, whatever. Uh, you know, so many women are like, oh my God, but his, his songs are so much fun, so catchy. They have great beats. All right, look at the videos are ridiculous. The songs are ridiculous. They're so silly. I don't get it. Again, he's huge. Right? Just goes to show you, people think it's good music nowadays. Uh, Nickelback. Bland, boring attempt at hard rock and metal. All right, Cookie cutter rock. Again, I don't get it. Why people are interested in Nickelback. I don't get it. Five Finger Death Punch. One of the worst metal bands on the planet. I've seen them live a couple times. Holy cow, are they awful. You know, guitar player's pretty good, but man, it's like new metal and metalcore, guys, is dead been dead for years you guys keep regurgitating it like you know what's the, the the new thing it's not it's done folks put a fucking fork in it all right marilyn manson i can't stand listening to him much less what looking at him i don't know what's worse the way he looks or the music he puts out dreary gothic new metal bore fest again some people are like, oh my god marilyn manson what he's been a genius of the last 20 years a genius of what all right, and looking like a freak. His music sucks. God, it's not even heavy. It's just, uh, I just don't get it, man. Volbeat. They have some catchy tunes, right? You know, Last Day Under the Sun, pretty catchy song. But man, you know what? Their music for me, you know, you got all these people who like to think they're metalheads. Like, oh, Volbeat's a great metal band. That's not metal, all right? It's really cute, kind of like pop, hard rock stuff. And that's, that's the problem I have with their music. It's like it's trying to be too cute for its own sake. You know, it ain't metal. You know, power pop, you know, modern day power pop, maybe. All right. But I just, I don't get the fascination with Volbeat. I just don't. Green Day is another band. You know, I just, you know, you guys know me. I, I really have an issue with punk of any era. And, you know, Green Day is like, you know, the 90s answer to, you know, oh, the new punk, right? But again, you know, it's the, trying to be punk, but it's got all these sugary pop hooks. The guy's voice sounds the same in every song. In fact, most of the songs sound the same to me. People are like, oh, but their songwriting is genius. They've got these great concept albums. Yeah, about what? Teenage angst and, you know, this it's all been done before. You know, freaking Townsend was doing that for years. I, you know, I don't know. I get it. It's, 
I just I hear one Green Day song, I've heard them all. And to me, it's just it just it it just epitomizes an era in music that I hate. I really, really don't. And I know we have a lot of folks who watch this channel who love it, grew up in the '90s. I get it, right? But for me, the '90s alternative music, ugh. It's just, yeah, Blink-182, all these bands, just they all fucking sound the same. They're all like, hey, da 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 it's, it's, it's like, it's awful. It's just awful. Blink-182, I'd say this, you know, it's what was wrong with rock music around that time. Cheesy pop punk stuff. Just stop it all. Let's just stop it all. It's just, there's, there's no balls to it. There's no, like, seriousness. It's like all this, like, happy-go-lucky, just, you know, radio-friendly stuff that just it has just there's no depth to it there's no i don't know it's just missing something for me right and the last band on my list for today all right counting crows put me to sleep why don't you i don't know what's worse his damn dreadlocks or the boring songs take take your dreads and your stupid songs and leave me alone boring ugh God, oh, but the songs are so memorable. Those hooks are great. Eh, whatever, if you like that sort of thing. Again, another band that you know had their mini f moment of, of fame, and then just kind of like you know now they they go out and they tour the you know the summer circuit and play their you know forty minute set of greatest hits. Whatever. That's I got no interest in that stuff. I, I just uh, I just don't like any of these bands, guys. You know, you asked. All right. I know I'm going to get people who are going to be like, oh, you're crazy. All you like is that damn metal and prog stuff. These are all great bands. If you like them, fine. You asked which ones I don't like, I'm telling you. All right? You can't like everything. These are the bands. And I, I, there's very little stuff that I just absolutely cannot stand. You guys, uh, if you've been following me for years, I like a lot of stuff. Some people have said to me many times over the years that, Pete, you're too open to everything. You're too positive about everything. All right, well, there you have roughly, what, a dozen acts that I do not like at all, that I avoid at all costs, and there's the reasons why. If you dig them, more power to you. You're not going to bully me into, into making me like them, right? These are the ones I don't like. Those are the reasons why. End of story. They'd be doing me a favor if I never heard another fucking note of their music ever. All right? That's my rant for today. This is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. We'll see you guys over the weekend with more stuff. Top, or no, sorry, not top 10 songs. Well, you might get a top 10 songs this weekend, but starting next week, we've got uh, Classic Live Album Wars, round three, starting up Tuesday. Myself and my good buddy Wild Bill, as uh, we, the comic book geezers, are appearing as guests on Jeff Young's Music Without Boundaries radio show, www.jeffyoungjams.com. Do not miss it. We'll be spinning some comic book character-related songs, lots of good instrumental music, all sorts of mayhem, talking comics, talking music, all sorts of fun stuff. So do not miss that. Um, and we'll see you real soon, right? I'm all over the place. So have a good weekend. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.